Alrighty, and that's going to bring us to our last topic. Are we going to fit this in today? Yeah, let's fit it in today. We're going to do our MVP. Who do we think should be the MVP? Everybody's saying it's clear Aaron Rodgers, but let's hold up, folks. So I've got their stats here. We're just going to kind of count... We're going to break down a lot of categories and award some, uh, somebody, one, or Patrick Mahomes or Aaron Rodgers, a point based on that category. We'll tally them all up and kind of see who we think should be the MVP. So here we go. The four main stats that um, you know quarterbacks should be worrying about, yards, completion percentage, touchdown, and interceptions. That's really all we really need to be talking about with quarterbacks. So let's start here. Patrick Mahomes, we'll start with yards. 4,740 yards. These are just passing yards, folks. So 47 yards passing by Patrick Mahomes, where Aaron Rodgers only has 40, 400, 4,000. So we got to give passing yards to Patrick Mahomes. So we give him passing yards. All righty. Now let's go to completion percentage. Aaron Rodgers, 70%. That is, folks, 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 that is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. 70% for the season. Oh my goodness. Absolutely fantastic. So Aaron Rodgers has 70% and Patrick Mahomes has 66%. So we give Aaron Rodgers completion percentage. So let's give him that. Alrighty. Now next category, touchdowns. We'll do touchdowns. 44 touchdowns for Aaron Rodgers and 38 touchdowns for Patrick Mahomes. Now if we even include rushing touchdowns for Patrick Mahomes, I think Aaron Rodgers still has more touchdowns total. So rushing touchdowns, he's got only two this year. Patrick Mahomes only has two. So Aaron Rodgers does win touchdowns. Alrighty, now let's go to interceptions. Patrick Mahomes, six interceptions, and Aaron Rodgers, five. So, Aaron Rodgers does win interceptions. Alrighty, um, so those are the four main categories for MVP, or really for quarterback kind of rating. How you want to watch a quarterback, just kind of look at those four main stats, folks. You, you can tell a lot by those. So, yes, by those... By those stats, Aaron Rodgers is the clear favorite, and that's why you're seeing it a lot on Twitter and in, in the media, just Aaron Rodgers um, MVP just because of those stats, really because of 70% completion percentage. That's really, I'm telling y'all, that is absolutely fantastic. That's really the big factor of why Aaron Rodgers so far seems front runner in the media. Now, let's take a look at record because yes, that matters, folks. MVP, your most valuable player. I do not want a 4-10 and 10 MVP, folks. Yes, your sets were good, but they didn't translate to wins, so I don't care what they were. So Aaron Rodgers, 13-3 and three, or 12-3 and three this so far this season, but Patrick Mahomes is 14-1. and one. He's only lost one game, even though he may have had some down games. So we have to give Patrick Mahomes the record, the record. We got to give him that. All righty. Now, um, let's try to go a little bit deeper into kind of some of these games and what these stats mean a little bit more. Now, let's kind of keep the, the, the mindset of record into play. How did these quarterbacks look in their losses? Let's take a look at that quickly. Aaron Rodgers in his losses. Let's count them here. First loss came against Tampa Bay. 45% completion percentage. No touchdowns. Two picks. 160 yards passing. That's horrible. That's real good. That's real bad. I mean, um, not even giving your team a chance to win that game. So that's, that's a huge loss. And you can kind of put a lot of it on Aaron Rodgers for not performing well. Now let's go to a second loss against Minnesota. Once again, 65% completion percentage. That's pretty good. I'll give him that. 291 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. All right. Not so much Aaron Rodgers' fault. Now let's go to his third loss. 71% uh, completion percentage, 311 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. So, and this was against Indianapolis. They lose by three. So once again, really not Aaron Rodgers' fault alone, but, uh, you know, he did throw an interception here. All right, now let's go to Patrick Mahomes' one loss. His one loss came from... All right, the Raiders, and what did he do? 51% completion percentage, 341, 340 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. All right, so, you know, kind of big there. Not good. Not a very good game by him. So, you know, we those are kind of even. They played good in those losses, except Aaron Rodgers had that real bad game. So I guess we have to knock Aaron Rodgers for one really bad game. That loss against Tampa Bay, that's really inexcusable. That's his worst loss. His worst loss, let's count that. Worst loss. 
or no, let's just count it as his worst game. Should we cat categorize it as, as that? Because that is his worst game. All right, let's take worst game. Worst games, and Aaron Rodgers, he went, uh, what do we got? 45% uh, completion percentage, 160 yards, and 02 touchdown interceptions. So that's his worst game. Now let's go to Patrick Mahomes' last worst game. Was it the loss? Let's see. Was it the loss? One touchdown, no pick. One touchdown, no pick. Two touchdowns. Yeah, that's probably his worst game. Two touchdowns, one pick. 340 yards, though. 340 yards. That's still pretty good. Um, so we'll just count that. Worst game loss. We'll do, all right, let's clearly define the category. Worst loss game. And that's, you know, Patrick Mahomes. Worst loss game would be 51% um, completion percentage, 340 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. So even in the worst games that they had this season, Patrick Mahomes played good in that worst game. Pat, I mean, that ga this game really, really is a MVP kind of case killer. And if you want to take the MVP case killer for Patrick Mahomes game, you take that loss. And he still looked decent in that loss. So I still think, you know, Patrick Mahomes still slightly in favor because of that. Alrighty, now let's talk about touchdown games. How did how did they look in kind of their best games? What were they looking like? Well, we see Aaron Rodgers throwing touchdowns, four touchdowns in one, two, three, four, five, six games this season. That's good. So four touchdowns in six games. Let's count that for Aaron Rodgers. Four touchdowns plus, we'll count it, in six games. That's very well done. Now let's look at Patrick Mahomes. What does his touchdowns look like? We'll count four because that's the bar we're setting. So four or more, Patrick Mahomes has four touchdowns in one game, five touchdowns in a game, four touchdowns in another one. So three games with four or more touchdowns. So that's a little bit, um, that's going to go to Aaron Rodgers because he's got three more games with four more touchdowns. Now Patrick Mahomes does have a five touchdown game, but that's only one. So, Alrighty, now let's count, what else do we do? Should we do best yardage game? What is their best yardage game? We'll try to find the mark here. Aaron Rodgers, what has he got here? 340. 64 yards so we'll count like 350 yard plus games or just 300 yard plus games let's count 300 yard plus games here Aaron Rodgers has one two three four five five 300 yard plus games that's pretty good now let's see what Ty or, um, uh, Patrick Mahomes has we're doing 300 yard plus games. So, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Patrick Mahomes has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine 300 yard plus games. Holy cow. How many 400 plus yards games does he have? One, two, two. Okay. Two 300 yard plus games. I think Aaron Rodgers had one, correct? No, he didn't even have any 400-plus yards game. So we have to kind of credit that as well. We have to make that a stat, folks. So we have nine 300-yard games from Patrick Mahomes. And we're just talking passing because Aaron Rodgers isn't a dual threat, so we'll try to keep it a little bit of an even playing field. But um, two 400-yard-plus games for Patrick Mahomes. And Aaron Rodgers doesn't have any. Alrighty, now let's count multiple interception games. Did you throw more than one interception in a game? Because that's bad. So let's start here with Aaron Rodgers. Multiple interception games. We've got one. One. One multiple interception. And then we've got for Patrick Mahomes, multiple interception games. We've got one as well. So one multiple interception game. Alrighty, folks. I mean, I, I would say that's kind of all the major categories to kind of look at. Maybe hi best highest percentage completion percentage game. Let's kind of go with that then. We'll go with that and that will kind of end it there. Because that's really the biggest categories you can get. You know what? Actually, let's count. before. Let's instead of doing uh, completion percentage, let's do toughest schedule if we think a team is good like a little bit above average we'll count it as you know a, a good team and we'll see how many we'll count the schedule and now that will be a, kind of our final determining factor so we'll end it here with Patrick Mahomes we'll start here Patrick Mahomes schedule against good teams 
Houston, week one, they're not a good team. Chargers, week two, not a good team. Baltimore, yes, that's a good team. That's a good win. New England, meh, that's tough. That's tough. We're not going to count New England, though. Raiders, at the time they faced them, they were a good team. They lost, so we can't. We won't even count it because it's not even a win. All right, Buffalo, that's a good win. Denver, not a good win. Car- Jets, not a good win. Carolina, not a good win. Raiders, again. We're going to count that as a good win because it's a division opponent. Should we count that? Let's not count the Raiders. They're not that good of a team, but they're they're not in the playoffs, so we won't count that. We'll count to count, you know, in the hunt for the playoffs kind of caliber teams. Um, so Tampa Bay, that's a good win. Denver, not a good win. Miami, a good win. New Orleans, a good win. Atlanta, not a good win. So that's five good wins for Patrick Mahomes, and we're counting, you know, kind of playoff teams, playoff caliber teams. If you're in the hunt right now at this moment, we'll count it as a good win. All right, now let's go to Aaron Rodgers. Good wins here. Uh, Minnesota, they don't, they can't get in the playoffs anymore. So we're not going to count that as a good win. Detroit, no. New Orleans Saints, yes. So that's one good win. Then we get Tampa Bay, but they lost against that. So that's not even a win. Houston, not a good win. Minnesota, as we said, not a good win. 49ers, not a good win. Jacksonville, not a good win. Indy, good win, but it's a loss. So we can't even count that. Chicago, they are, they can make the playoffs so we give them that win philadelphia can't detroit can't carolina can't and tennessee can so only three three good teams three good wins where patrick mahomes has five good wins so let's um well tally it all here this is what we got for aaron Rodgers' case as mvp he's got the completion percentage he's got the touchdowns and he has the least interceptions between patrick mahomes he also had his worst game 45% completion percentage, 160 yards, no touchdowns, two picks. Um, He's got six games of four touchdowns or or more. He's got five 300-yard-plus games, and he has one multiple interception game, and he's got three good wins. Then we go to Patrick Mahomes. He's got more passing yards. He's got the better record. He's got his worst game was 51%, 340 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. He's got three four-plus touchdown games. Um, He's got nine 300-yard-plus games and two 400-plus yard games, one multiple interception game, and five good wins. Folks, in the grand scheme of things, if we take everything into account and kind of weigh it as, you know, a part of my algorithm of what I think determines more weight and what determines, you know, less weight, Patrick Mahomes has 700 more yards. Yes, he doesn't have as many touchdowns or, you know, has more interceptions, but he's still throwing 700 more yards. If you have Aaron Rodgers throw 700 more yards, yes, he's going to have more touchdowns. Will he have, you know, probably one more interception? Most likely. So very kind of similar there if you kind of take it all over and these five good wins 14 and one we have to give the man credit so I think this MVP case is a lot closer than people think and I think I weigh it a little bit in Patrick Mahomes favor folks going into week 17 week 17 will count I I don't care that both of these teams have you know locked up the one seed I don't care I want to see y'all play give us you know if Patrick Mahomes doesn't play and Aaron Rodgers does then we start shifting to Aaron Rodgers playing one more game I can get behind that so I think right now going into week 17 Patrick Mahomes is the MVP all righty that's